Well, this has been a humbling experience. If you've been watching me do all these digital pets hoping that one day I would be knocked down a peg or two with my confidence and my ability to raise a digital pet, then wait no longer! <laughs> For I have birthed the worst Digimon possible, and I want to know how. Look, it's Okuamon. Uh, X, I suppose. They're all their X forms. They went to sleep last night, a happy Greymon X, right? A happy one, full of stats. Went to sleep right on the dot at 10 o'clock, and then this morning they woke up this. And their stats were still fine. Their stats were hunky-dory. They were full. Look. Its stats don't actually go down that quickly either, although it's Kandioko, it's physical fitness, or how, I mean, it literally translates to like muscular strength, so I don't know, it feels like a weird English thing to say. Anyway, I just call it training. So here, I have noticed though that since they've turned into Okuamon, that I feel like the dice rolls have been a little more lucky, but again, it's all statistics, so this could just be my own anecdotal evidence that amounts to nothing more than I've got good RNG today. But if it, if it really does, if you get luckier, based on what your Digimon is, like what level they are, if it, you know, if once they get up to their ultimate form, suddenly you like won't roll that many ones or twos anymore, then I guess that's cool, but it still feels like, ugh, I, I guess it's really just, the issue is I didn't have an instruction booklet or something. Like, here, look, 28, four, it, it did good. It, was, it counted as a giga hit. So I've had like, you know, as much as I'm disappointed, I'm actually having a slightly better time with Okuamon here, and I guess it's one of those lessons, right? It's one of those times that I need to remember that Bog Digimon are freaking awesome, and Okuamon's pretty cool too. Look at him. He's raising the roof all over the place with his Lego Man hands. Things aren't all bad, you know, and they still can digivolve. In fact, I kind of wish I had another one of these because it says that they can Jogress, and if I had another Pendulum X, I could have other options. But right now, I think their only option to digivolve is into... Uh, like super duper Okuamon. I don't, uh, I don't know. My internet's broken right now, and normally I would look it up and tell you what our options are. But yeah, everything's messed up. My router and my internet's working, but for some reason my browsers aren't actually loading up any pages. I probably have a virus or something. I don't know. I get a virus like once every eight years. It just doesn't happen that often. So when it does happen, I'm like, huh. Guess my computer's broken. It could also be bad RAM. Anyway, I've got a lot of things to troubleshoot. It's too bad them being digital monsters, they can't get up in the computer and help me out. Because if Digimon were real, they could totally do that. Although Okuamon being a virus, they'd probably just make things worse, wouldn't you? You angry little Lego man-handed freak. I have also collected some more food. Uh, let me show you what we got. It's something that we're going to need very much for the next run. And I've got it. Uh, no, it's not the Skywing, although we could use that for some things. But right now, what is most important is Zombie Niku. Zombie meat. We need a couple of those. I think I want to say maybe more like three or four of those to be able to get down the Death X Dodum online. So... Yeah, gotta keep collecting those things. And like I said, Shakes have been a little more lucky today, so I don't know if it's related to my Digimon evolving or if it's related to just luck. But see, so yeah, we only have 34 left. Like the closest I've ever gotten to finishing this thing was like 59 before things just started destroying me constantly and the Shakes were just so unlucky. But we're getting this far and uh, uh yeah, we got Dodo Greymon to fight now. Okay, I get it. You're the shining boy. I don't even know what Okuamon's favorite shake number is. It's it's all a mystery to me. I don't have the power of the internet to educate me right now. Uh, all that matters, though, is that we get a big old dice roll. What is it? Is it is that seven? That's seven? Nice! Okuamon, you're so cool! Yeah, hit him with the big blasts. Man, I woke up this morning and I was in such a bad mood about what had happened, but check that out, man. Okuamon is... I, even if it is statistics, even if I am just having good RNG today, that's the way the world works. That's the way life works. If you're in the right place at the right time, and if the dice roll where they're supposed to go, then you're the one that wins. You're the one deemed the lucky Digimon. So let's just accept it for what it is and just say, oh, Coolmon ended up being pretty awesome. Did we just roll six or seven? Either way, it was quite enough. Oh. Oh, nice! Okay, so that circle sometimes sends you back, but sometimes it sends you like crazy forward up to. Oh, I wanted that. That's the guy I wanted, but... No, I, sorry, I shouldn't say that right next to Okuamon. That's not very nice. Okay, just, just gonna shake it like nuts, because like I said, I don't know what Okuamon's favorite is, so I just assume shaking a lot will do us something, right? 27? I feel like maybe it's more like 28, but... What is it? What did it be? Five? Hey, that's not bad! See what I'm talking about? It's actually been a lot nice. Hey, Okuamon! Pfft. Yeah, it's fine. You can you can just not even worry about that one. It's like throwing a tissue at someone. There's just no feasible way it's gonna do damage. Ah! Here we go. Big one, right? Okay, no, that's fine too. We could we could just nickel and dime him down. 
Of course, he won't be able to nickel and dime him if he doesn't accept the nickels or the dimes. Please don't have a two shot and don't let it hit me. No, okay, see, that's the first part of the requirement. That's the second part of the thing I just said. You, I said not to do either of those things. Oh, oh, cool, Amon, I'm sorry, man. Man, he can actually look sad. Oh, he took illness. Okay, you know, that's actually like, I think that's why they turned into Okuomon. Because remember, on the second episode, we jumped into the quest, right? And we lost a couple times. And then they were doing that thing where they weren't responsive, weren't moving at all. And I shook them a bunch to bring them back. Now, there is speculation with you all as well that's saying that it does seem like they were trying to die. Like, that, it was that one thing that happens where when your Digimon loses a bunch, they will try to die and you just gotta shake to bring them back. If we had a working speaker on this thing, maybe I could have verified that a little more accurately. Maybe I could have heard like a beep, beep kind of sound, right? And then, I, then I'd be more certain. But the point is, that happened a few more times because, you know, what can I say? It's hard to win in this game. Although, actually, our percentage has gone up to 70%. Huh. Yeah, like I said, it just seems like having uh, the perfect level or ultimate level Digimon has made it a lot easier, has made the dice a lot more forgiving to me. So what's the answer there? Just have Digimon only fight Dodimon and Dodomon at the beginning? Well, Do Dodomon can't fight. I'll only have them fight Dodimon? Over and over, and then just start the quest over and over again? That seems a little lame, because, you know, you want to go through there and you want your Digimon to grow with the quest, right? But you can't. You, you gotta have your Greymon X over there pounding on, on basically what looks like a claw UFO game plush and th and then they win and that's like the only way to get a good Digimon I don't know and even then I fought Dodimon a couple times and they have done the giant ball blast and didn't one shot me before so this device is just hard it's a little unforgiving it's like no matter how hard you try you're gonna end up getting an Okuomon unless you just scum restart the quest over and over again. Which I guess is fine. Everyone did keep saying that, uh, for, at least for the first run or two, I'm just gonna get Okuomon, and boy were they right. So yeah, that's uh, that's the situation. I'm going to keep going through with the quest. Uh, maybe I can get to the end of the quest, and uh, maybe I'll be able to show you what's at the end. I, I, I want to run through it mostly because I need more zombie meat. I need more zombie meat before they start the next run, which is fine because we have time, because they have to evolve one more time into their ultimate form. I mean, they are Okuomon, but they can evolve to another thing. But I have this bad feeling it's something like do 100 battles. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's do 100 battles. 100 of these things along with 100 of these things. But see, I'm getting like fours at the lowest, and that's just been, that's been really nice, actually. See that? If you make a good shake and then you get four on the dice, that still counts as a giga hit. So it's a- oh no, see, but th sometimes this will just happen. <gasps> Ooh. Oh goodness. Oh. Mamma mia. Hey, hey. Oh no. <laughs> sometimes things just don't work out on this device and you're gonna end up with a- this. You're gonna end up here where your Digimon's trying to die. Do you see what I'm talking about? Come on, oh cool, Mon. It's not time to tag out now, buddy. You've still got so much more life to live. Yeah, there you go. They've got their confidence back. And I've got mine back a bit. Like I said, this has been a tad humbling, but also it's just this device is harsh. So yeah, I guess I'll see you all tomorrow. Hopefully my internet will be fixed by then, or whatever it is I need to do to my computer will be done by then. And we will figure out what we need to do to get Okuom on here, our big strong Lego hands boy, to evolve further. While also trying to gather the ingredients for the next generation. Huh? Oh. Piledramon, which apparently its name has been pronounced Piledramon this entire time. It's what I get for only watching half of season two of Digimon and then also forgetting the first half of the season of Digimon. That's all for today though. Thanks to my patrons for supporting my channel, especially Cookie Face and Shifter. They're all helping me out so much. I just bought some new equipment with some Patreon funds. It's gonna make some really cool series in the future. I'll post a video to Patreon about it in here in a couple days, but I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one.